Every day, start the day off with a protein shake. Get your body primed and fueled for the first workout of the day. Right now, it's all about building for long-term benefits. And I think that applies to football and in life. After we do this run, grab some grub, let's head over to Gracie University, roll with your own. I called him once, right? I texted him, yo, Josh, grab some towels. No, you said grab the towels, man. Nah, bro. I'm not taking orders from you, bro. <laughs> it's all good. Sweat never hurt anybody. We're at Hermosa Beach. First training session of the day. Getting ready to hit these ladder drills. And get some conditioning in. Ah, on the sand. I found that it's less about being in shape and more about being recovered from the previous year. And that may sound crazy. You'd be surprised, man. Some of those minor tweaks and injuries can, can stick around for a while. We got eight box. We got to stab the four, help the center. The center's coming our way. It's not, it's not a bad thing to say, hey man, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Doesn't fucking matter if they, if they know who you're blocking. Over communicate. Hey, I got you, I got you. It's my three right here. Talk it out. Yeah. Performing under pressure, man. The physical toll, the mental anguish is real. The people that are in the league understand the sacrifice. That's why these guys want every cent. I like training on the sand because it's not as hard on your joints. But you get the added benefit of the resistance in your running. The really explode in the sand takes a lot more force. So we finished up on the beach. We had to refuel, grabbed an acai bowl, and then hit up Brothers Burritos, a little burrito bowl. Chatted for a bit, took some pictures with some fans. <laughs> this dude's the worst training partner. <laughs> the fact that uh, we're able to train together is pretty cool. We're pulling up to Gracie University, home of Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Get a nice little hour long roll in. Training Jiu Jitsu is great for building mobility and flexibility in your hips. Just understanding leverage, you know, the give and take. I mean, it's very similar to pass rush. You're really just grappling, standing up, trying to get by the offensive lineman to get to the quarterback. Talking about life through jujitsu movements. Talking about the importance of being patient and when to apply control while you know mixing in chokes and arm locks. Go, pressure! Two chokes. Yes, there, stay right there. Put this hand at my lap. Yeah, there you go. Keep your head over my head. Right there. Worse for me. Yeah, it's number one. You just do using every muscle yes. in your body, whether it's to maneuver your body for a choke, using your abdominals to get the right angle, you're using your legs to push off of his stomach. The movement is more important than anything. It's, it's really understanding leverage and how to escape from different positions and, and attack from different positions. And even just controlling and, and being relaxed uh, takes energy. Being patient takes energy. Uh, you know, I whoop on, on Jacob all the time, so it's, it was no big deal. He's a little stronger than he used to be, but same old thing, man. Nothing new. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later today. Okay, I love you, Stuart. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye, babe. I love you. Talk to you later. Uh, we tried to catch that on the last vlog. We make stupid sounds when we hang up. It's kind of cute, and it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's always about the details, but it's tough to get to those minor details unless you have the core fundamentals and techniques. The end goal for me in football is to become the best player that I can be as they change this kickoff rule. No comment. Bro, tell me why I'm running down on kickoff in this Raiders game last year. And this always happens, bro. Every time I play this guy, oh, uh, I feel like I'm I'm end up one on one with him. Cause no, like I don't know. Everyone just disappears, and it's just me and him one on one. And it's a big ass dude running full speed, and he knows he's a big returner. That's his game, you know. 
Uh, so people don't want to tackle him because he's such a large human being for a returner especially. So he doesn't slow down. He accelerates, like legitimately accelerates through the hole, one-on-one tackle, Cordero Patterson was probably the most recent big hit that I can remember. We just pulled up to Escrivel's uh, warehouse workshop, and now we're gonna go check out some cool shoes and see if we can uh, get fitted for a pair or two. We ate at uh, Amori Tacos, had some great enchiladas. The short rib was uh, to die for. Last stop of the day, had to make it to Whole Foods. Need to pick up a supplement. Dang, stuff is never on sale. Longest day we've had in a vlog. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, please feel free to press a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.